Make sure you say thank you. It wasn't a countdown to the event. It was a countdown to gift these subs. <gasps> Ooh! All right. Is the overlay off? Is the overlay off? Overwatch Anniversary Remix Volume 1 ends April 26th, the day of the beta. Anniversary loot boxes are back with new legendaries. Week 1, Diva. Week 2, uh... Oh my god, I forget what it's called, it's like balsamic, balsamic, balsamic Ana or some, <laughs> or some shit. And then combat, combat, that's it, that's it. And uh, combat medic, that piece. Um, oh, look at this dude, this, all right, I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't really simp that hard for characters, but like, I would simp for this Mercy. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a, this is like an S plus tier Mercy skin, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest with you. That's an S plus right there. God, I haven't seen one of these anniversary loot boxes in so long. Is that not the most fitting pull I've ever seen? All right, let's go through what's new. First up, we've got White Cat Diva, the opposite of Black Cat Diva. One of the original best skins in the game, in my opinion. Absolutely. Looks sick. I would say it's not as impressive as some of the others, but like, come on, look at that tail, though. It's kind of cool. Weapons? Is there a blaster? I mean, I have the gold gun on everything. Maybe I should turn that off. But regardless, though, like the white grip, white trigger, that looks sick. HB 50. I don't know what that means, but that looks cool. Next up, we've got the reskin of Demon Genji. I believe Demon Genji was like a an exclusive like Blizz. Was this an exclusive BlizzCon skin? It was like an exclusive BlizzCon skin, something like that. I believe. I might be wrong on that, but I like this. This looks really really cool. The shurikens, and of course the dragon blade. Oh, it was Heroes of the Storm. It was a Heroes of the Storm exclusive. So this is really cool. If you missed out on the Heroes of the Storm exclusive, like, you can get this one, which is awesome. Here's my favorite, other than the Reinhardt one. The Mercy. Oh my literal god. I don't I don't simp that hard typically for the skins, but like Dear Christ. Like What did they do? How? How, I, whatever you did, do it again. Do it again. What the fuck? Dude, I, I'm, I don't even know what to say. Holy shit. Uh, but by far, I think probably the best skin. The only one I would argue is maybe the Ryan skin. The Ryan skin is like a, a very close, very close uh, second or first, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, this is a this is this is literally S plus tier. Evermore, I'm not totally crazy about the skin, but I feel still think it looks really really nice. So like, Witch Doctor, Assassin's Creed S vibes. I like it. It's pretty good. Now, arguably the best slash number two, Steelheart, the uh, Steel type version of Reinhardt's skins. That. It just, it just looks, this just looks so good. Like, to be honest with you, this is probably what the contender skin should have looked like. This is, this is fucking, this is amazing. This is sick. This is really, really good. Hammer. Also is the axe. I'm actually a big fan of the axe because I like the swing noise of the axes. So, this will probably be my new Ryan skin for a little bit. I've been running the Reinhardt for a little bit. I think this is going to be my new one. I like this a lot. Big. All right. Next, we've got Zealot. Zealot, which is the I forget what Zen skin this is, but it's a reskin Zen skin. Um, it's uh, it's Jonax skin, right? This is reskin Jonax skin. No, it's not Jonax. It's a uh, cultist. Cultist. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Jonax is the one with the fucking the head bubble thing. You're right. You're right. Cultist. Um, I actually this might be a hot take. I actually think I like this one better. I actually think I like this one better. Like, the Cultist skin never was, like, a big standout to me. I don't know. I just... I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but, like, this one, I think, is, like... 
it's kind of like a more like the other one was kind of like an octopus like a deep octopus vibes this one gives me more of like a a guardian cthulhu vibe and to be honest with you i'm with it i like it and then a close look at his balls and the balls look back at you but yeah i mean i'm gonna be honest with you i mean I, I, you know what not the flex i already got the money I might as well just buy them right now. To be honest, like, the rest I can actually get through some through some loot boxes right later. But like this, more of this. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the staff. I didn't know the end part wiggled. Wiggles. And the blaster. Yeah. What whatever you did here, do more of this. Do more of that. Retro might have some more for you. Um, okay. So, Overwatch Anniversary Remix. Join the party. It's time to grab your gilded weapons and put on your party skins. The sixth anniversary of Overwatch has arrived. Here's your six... By the way, we've been playing this game for six years. Holy hell. Um, here's the six years of steadfast pushing payload, jaw-dropping trick shots, tenacious teamwork, and community filled with unmatched, unmatched passion. To celebrate the occasion, we're unlocking the skin vault and bringing back six limited looks that you might have missed out on with an exclusive twist. Your, ch ex your second chance to secure these skins has arrived. Unlock elegant new variants of past legendaries like Oni Genji, Nevermore Reaper, Witch Mercy, and more. The festivities are just getting started, so keep an eye out on con the more content to come. Uh, brawls are back. As a part of the Overwatch Anniversary Celebration, we're unlocking... Season exclusive brawls, giving you the chance to dive into your favorite modes from previous seasonal events. Want to know what days your favorite brawls will be back? Check out the schedule below. Oh, cool. So there's a whole schedule of like when stuff comes back. So April 5th is Lucio Ball, Summer Games. April 6th is Halloween Terror. April 7th is the more like um, horde mode Halloween Terror. April 8th is Winter Wonderland. April 9th is uh, Year of the Tiger. Uh, April 10th is Archives. 11th Archives, but... Wait, let's see. This is the Uprising... Wait. Uprising Retribution? Okay, so this is more of the Horde mode. Um, uprising event. 12th is Lucio Ball. Okay, so that appears to be the schedule. It's, it's apparently you get like each event twice. For each day of events twice. That's cool. Play to earn. Um, play nine games, you get the sprays. 18 games for the icon. 27 games for the skin. Same thing for Bastinana. Same thing for combat medic. Uh, wins count as two games. Oh, is this like... Wait. Oh, you're also able to unlock every skin in the game um, that's, like, purchasable. So, from old events and stuff like that. So, I just bought uh, Scuba Sigma because I was missing that, apparently. I didn't know I was missing that. But, uh, yeah. Also, along with collectibles, anniversary loot box. Uh, oh, no, I don't need to buy. Listen, you don't need to buy loot boxes. You don't need to buy loot boxes. Just play the game. Uh but yeah, so uh, that wraps up the event. And uh, I guess on the website is if you're looking for specific game modes on what day they are, they have a whole schedule, which is kind of cool.